Hi, how are you? <clears throat> My lips are red, I don't know why. <laughs> Editing some stuff and now I'm having a break. Ah, oh, stretching my legs. It's fine. It's quite good. Sampling some chocolate. That's a good thing, you know, when you were born in Eastern Europe, because basically we have Santa 5th of December, and over here we have Santa 25th of December. So basically that came 5th of December. Santa Claus bought it for me. <laughs> so that's quite good, receiving present twice. And I have a friend and she's from um, Estonia. And I heard, I mean, she told me that they get present at New, Z New Year's. So it's basically quite good, twice in December. I quite enjoyed it. My friend just called and, well, it's just not gonna happen. I just said, okay, maybe an hour later or something. I don't know. Now I have break and I'm talking to you. And I don't know, I like to work for like two, three hours more and maybe we can talk after. But with my best friend, oh my God, we talk like hours and hours and hours. Maybe that's why we are good friends because he can listen to my endless ranting about capitalism. And when I say endless, it's like, it's up to three, four hours. <laughs> yeah, quite a long time. It's good. Oh, so many things happened today. For example, I had a day off. This is very strange for me to have a day off, especially nowadays that um, I'm always, always, always on a call. So when a day comes, when I have nothing to do, when I have day off, I don't know what to do with myself. It's like basically I'm just... I woke up, it varies when I woke up on my day offs. I woke up and I was like, okay, five minutes more. But I couldn't sleep back, I couldn't sleep back. I started to watch Titans, it finally came to Netflix in this area. My God, everyone else in the world saw it like months ago. But here it came only, only now, only on Wednesday. Ah, uh, that's really nice. That I started to watch it, I watched it like until 2 o'clock in the morning, then I fall asleep. And then when I woke up, I just didn't feel like waking up. I wanted to stay in a bed, but you know, it's never, never, never a good idea to sleep back. So I decided, I decided a very, very strange thing. I said, okay, let's, let's mop the floor in our kitchen. Our kitchen is like big like a, a football field or even bigger than that. I never actually cleaned the kitchen, oddly enough. It's supposed to be like a rotation or something. So I just moved here. I haven't been here for, for a year. I think I moved here in spring time or something like that. And since then, I never, never cleaned the kitchen. I never mobbed it, which is not really nice. We have a flatmate and she is usually the one um, mopping the floor and cleaning the kitchen. And you know, it's not nice. We are supposed to rotate, you know. Oh, every week, different person should clean the house. But what happened is I said, okay, I am not gonna sleep back. I'm going to mop the kitchen. This is what I'm gonna do. And maybe I wake up. So I went to the kitchen and I said, oh yes, I turned right, I turned left and I said, okay, this will definitely wake me up because it's like a Hercules, um, you know, Hercules had, Hercules had 12 jobs to do and when I looked at the kitchen and it's big like a football field, I said, this is a job for Hercules, it would definitely, you know, scratch one of the one of the main tasks of definitely <laughs> because I was one of them definitely so what I did I mobbed the kitchen but it wasn't easy at all because I don't have the tools I have no idea where the mob where, where the mob is there's the broom there's the, the nothing at all I didn't know where are the chemicals at all so <laughs> it was it was like a side adventure <coughs> a side mission to do this so after doing that I went to the shop and I said okay I'm gonna have a beer I haven't had a beer for a long long time this is my day off I worked hard enough I'm gonna have a beer I didn't go for any particular brand, but uh, I wanted to have um, 
Hmm, I don't want to say the name, so I'm gonna... Uh, I'll put it like this, like a riddle. It's the river of, of Amsterdam. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's the river of Amsterdam. And we didn't have it. So I went to the second best. Oh, yeah. It was funny to move the kitchen. Now I put the light on, you see a little bit more. I went to the kitchen. <coughs> I'm still coughing, but just a little bit, don't worry. So, I went to the kitchen and I used... I'm, I'm gonna show it to you, look. I bought this when I came back from my holiday. Well, obviously, obviously it wasn't a holiday. It was a challenge. It was this year's challenge. I moved to a place where I'd never been to. I rented a flat and and I enjoyed myself and I tried to do, <laughs> to come up with some original ideas, which is like very, very rare and it worked. So it's quite really good, you know, especially when you are building a web shop or of some kind or you're helping someone who is building a web shop. So that is, that is quite good. I was really happy about myself. First time in years and years I've done something challenging, leaving my comfort zone. And you know, mopping the kitchen, it was quite similar, leaving my comfort zone. <laughs> That's why I said I, I deserve the beer today. It was funny. I bought this one. I bought this huva, and I love it. It's so good. But you know, I ordered it online, and it came with a letter. And in the letter, the engineer said that I don't want this uh, to be on social media. Please don't take picture of it. Please don't put it on social media. And I was like, okay. So that's why you could see only the belly of the product. I didn't show you the whole thing. <laughs> it was. You know, so strange because it's a very good thing. I used this with the corners in, in the kitchen and that was fine. Obviously, it's kind of better when you have <clears throat> when you have the big hoover, but then you don't have to, you know, go on the floor, lying down on the floor, reach into different places because it's quite short. But it, it was fine. It's good. It was like, it's like going to... Mm, I'm going to the gym for like one and a half hour because we have so many chairs the kitchen is big like a football field so we have so many chairs you need to go under I was thinking about it you know because I worked in catering I worked in uh, fast food restaurants and stuff and over there all the time what we did when we moved the floor maybe I moved the floor maybe once or something and maybe I wasn't really good at it <laughs> that's why someone has always took on this task so over there what we did we took the chairs and put it on the top of the table so you had you know it was much faster to mop the floor but here you know I didn't want to move everything it just it just looked silly so what I did I just uh, you know went under the table went under the, uh, the chairs and I hoovered first and then I mopped the place it was good Oh, the other thing, I didn't know where are the tools, I didn't know where are the mops and stuff, so what I did, I went to look for them. <laughs> it was fun. I went to the garden and I find a mop, mop, a mop, and it was pink in the kitchen. So I said, okay, I'm going to use it. It was, it wasn't really clean, you know, because it was raining and stuff, but okay, I cleaned it and, and then I used it. For mopping the floor. I mopped the floor maybe twice. The water was really dark so I get rid of the water and I filled the bucket up again and what I did you know I put the um, you know the stick the mop inside the water and then I took it out and then you need to get rid of the excess water but for that you need to push it and what I did maybe I pushed it too hard I used my own body weight and now I'm quite heavy and the whole thing broke in half but the way how it broke in half is basically the um, the base of the stick exploded completely so I, I needed to start the whole job again and you know it's made from metal and it was because it left outside you know the rain the weather here in london it's really special it's eroded the whole thing and it was it was metal but it was rusty and uh, and i put my whole body weight on it it just split everywhere everywhere in the kitchen was like okay Part two, let's start the whole thing again. 
I know. But you know, it's um, it's like this, that every time when you when you meet someone here in London, there are some basic questions. It's basically very similar to like when you go for a job interview, you have like five to five, six, ten basic questions. And one of them is, what are you going to do in the future? Because we, you know, the people who live that kind of lifestyle, what I do, we always travel, we go where the job is. So this is what we were talking about. You know, where are you gonna go? Are you going to move? Are you going to stay? We were talking about this and I realized that that what happened in the last two years, mine and basically everyone I know, our priorities changed, com completely changed. And, and especially it's December, when you ask me this question in December, I'm gonna have a completely different answer for you, completely different one, because in December for me is the family, is the home. You know, when I woke up and I could wake up, I wanted to, so my body said to me, oh no, stay in the bed. I said, no, 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 I'm gonna do something. I didn't go to the city, I didn't go and meet friends. I said, I'm gonna mop the floor because my focus is going towards home, staying at home and staying with the family. This is strange. So I broke them up, I need to buy a new one. <sighs> but don't worry, soon it's Christmas.